Hi. So in today's TCS World 10K preparations, common sense tips. We will look at the approach. How you approach your race on 20th. To create an approach, we will divide the 10 kilometers into three segments. The first 15 percent, that is about 1.5 kilometers, you will have a lesser control on your race because uh, there is going to be a lot of people around you, you are overwhelmed, your adrenaline is pumping. The second segment of about 65 percent, that is 6.5 kilometers, is where you can control your race and we are going to discuss that in detail and the last segment of this 20 percent the last two kilometers which i like to call a decisive phase because this phase determines your results depending on how you manage your fatigue so we are going to look at approach for both the groups group one the debutants and group two, the people who are trying to achieve their personal bests. So the approach for the debutants, as we discussed, your main goal should be completion and enjoying the experience. So you really don't worry too much about your speed. The first phase of 1.5 kilometers is going to be really overwhelming for you with the experience and you are going to find lot of crowd around you. And this is the time when you want to run faster. So avoid the temptation of running faster trying to make your way. Now in the second segment is where you try to settle down, settle down your nerves. Then don't worry about people overtaking you. There will be people overtaking you and you might catch up with them later. And uh, the most important thing in this is do not hesitate to take walk breaks. The last 20 percent, the last two kilometers is going to be real test. The fatigue would have set in and you are feeling very tired. But this is a time when you try to maintain somehow uh, a slower jog, mix it with walk. But the more jog you put in, the better uh, results you will get. Now to the second group of people who want to achieve their PB. Like we discussed yesterday, you must have noted the time and the pace you could achieve during the fastest 8 kilometers or more distance you have done. Now that pace kind of becomes your base. This is what you might achieve during this race and most importantly don't uh, don't expect a miracle yeah whatever you have achieved you might be a little faster than that and trying to be a very aggressive approach might lead to you know uh, some negative or sometimes even devastating effects in the first segment of 1.5 kilometer you are going to face that adrenaline rush because you have been practicing and rearing to go and of course there was a lot of crowd and you have to go wade your way through and you will be running faster uh, because of this so be very careful don't run too fast in the second segment you try to stick to your plan. You might have run faster in the first 1.5 kilometers. Then hold back your pace. If you would have been slower because of the crowd, this is a time to gradually increase your pace. But don't run too fast than whatever you have planned for. And don't get carried away with the competition. It's your race and not the competition's race. So stick to your plan, especially in this 6.5 kilometers. In this third segment of 20%, that's last two kilometers, 
you have to overcome the fatigue yeah you are tired but you have to keep on pushing and keep some reserve for you to push the paddle in the last one we kilometer. discuss the approach for both the groups i hope you understood this and will try to implement uh, the same tomorrow we are going to discuss the most important part of the fuel so see you tomorrow